guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja, help me keep a smile for today. Hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but you already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to go. The next today is your actions make you lie. But before I get to run my mind, let's go and do what? Shake up this manifestation jar, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. And I pulled out two, and the first one says, well, everything is all right, and indeed it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And last but not least is wet more joy and we'll take that too. Listen, your actions make you lie. Your actions make you lie. My actions make me lie when I'm not all the way aligned and connected. And why? It's because I'm flip at the lip. I'm so flip at the lip when I'm not aligned and connected. So are you. Somebody asked you, hey, do you think you can help me out in doing so, 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 so? And you automatically say, yeah. Especially if you're like me, you're a ruler. You want people to what? To win. So you say, oh, I want them to win. Yeah, I got you, man. I'll be there. I'll do it. I'll be there. I got you. I got you. I got you. And then what ends up happening? <laughs> you ain't got them. Your actions are the exact opposite of what you have spoken. And it's only because you weren't swift to hear and slow to speak. Isn't that what God said? He says, be, uh, be swift to hear and slow to speak. And why did God say that? It's because when you're swift to hear, you're able to process it, which means what? You're able to consult God. God, is this what you want me to do? They asked me if I could do this, but do you have plans for me tomorrow? Do you have plans for me to do something or whatever, whatever, whatever? And then as you process that and God gives you the answer, then when your answer comes, whatever you give them, you will be able to follow through with that thing if it's a yes. If they say, can you do that? And God give you a yes. He'll say, yeah, I'll be able to do that. And you'll be able to follow through. You'll be there. You'll do it. You will. And it won't be a lie. It's only when we're not aligned and connected that we went, don't follow through. Our mind, body, and egos will have us thinking that we can do this and we can do that, especially if you're a people pleaser. Oh my God, you'll be a yes person all day long. That's why they're calling you because you always say, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. And it's all because you do what? Because you don't want people to feel a certain way about you. Guess what? People going to feel a certain way if you say yes or no. They are. If they don't like you, um, if you say no, say yes. Try to say yes. You'll see those, some of those same people still don't like you. They, they don't. They I, I, Listen, I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> I'm telling you what I know. That's why you can't be people pleasers. And when you begin to not be aligned and connected and people asking you stuff, you're not going to be following through and they're going to call you a lie. You're going to say, oh, she's a liar. Uh, don't, don't trust her. Oh, he's a liar. And you're really not a liar. It's just that your actions aren't lining up with your words. And it's, it's only because you're not getting the answers from God. Your follow through can't follow through because that is not what God had for you to do. But you will flip at the lip. The mind, body, ego told you, say yeah. And you said yes. And it didn't pan out. And so, like I said, I have you looking like you lied. And you know how that feels. And you lie to yourself just like I've lied to myself. You say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But did you consult God? Did you have a swift ear to hear God on that situation? Regardless of what it is, it could be something as easy as losing weight. God, I so desire to lose weight, at least about 20, 25 pounds. God, which direction should I go? What should I do? And listen. After you ask a question, listen. Don't just go, oh, I'm going to go and do this diet. I'm going to do that. Because now you're speaking too soon. God may not want you to go do that diet. He may not want you to go to that gym. He may not want you to. But if you flip to speak it out loud and then begin to act on it, you ain't going to follow through, boo. I'm telling you now, you're not going to follow through. It's not going to follow through for you. It's not. And then you're going to look at yourself like, I got lied to myself. I failed myself again. And you really didn't fail yourself. You just didn't take the time to listen. Listen, I am no longer at a crossroads. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You got to listen. You got to listen. Listen. Be swift to hear and slow to speak. You'll find that you'll be able to relax and you'll have so much more peace when you are slow to speak. You have so much more peace. And let me tell you this. When people come to you, asking you to do things maybe they ask you asking you to maybe they want to borrow some money or want to borrow this or borrow that 
If you can't give them an answer right away, don't feel bad about it. Say, hey, listen, I'm going to have to get back with you on that because I'm not sure. If they get upset because you said you got to get back with them, then you already know. You are not supposed to be doing nothing with an F-F-I-N. N-O-F-F-I-N. Nothing for them. Because guess what? They have somebody else's number written down under your name. So when you say no, they're going to dial somebody else and ask them. I learned that from Steve Harvey. He said his family members and friends was always calling him asking for something. And he was always that yes man trying to please everybody because he wanted everybody to win just like you do, just like I do. But then he realized if he said no, what would happen? And he realized that they're going to call somebody else. Call somebody else. We have to learn as a people that you're not going to be everybody's yes. You're not. God just did not set that up for you. He didn't set it up for me either. I can't be everybody. Yes. You can't be everybody's Jesus. You can't save everybody. That ain't your calling. You 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 can't save everybody. Which means what? You can't be everybody's yes. And it's okay to say I'll get back with you on it. I'm not sure. And it's okay if God gives you the answer right away as soon as they ask and God said no. It's okay to tell them no. Because guess what? If you follow the will of God, if God said no, don't do it. No, don't go down that, that road with them. No, don't do this, don't do that. If you follow the will of God, you will go far. If you ignore the will of God and he's telling you no, don't do it, and you do it anyway, you're going to cause some problems in your life. You will have some potholes in your road ahead. You are. And you don't want that. I had to learn this, y'all. I ain't always been like this. I was like, yes, 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 yes. You get a yes. You get a yes. You get a yes. You get a yes. Huh? Well, you didn't even do what? Yes, I'll be there. You want me? Yes, I'll bring that. What? You need some money? Yes, I'll give it. I was, I was a yes girl. Always saying yes. And I was like, finding myself drained. Finding myself... Like, why did man with me? What did I do? Aren't these the same people that I was able, God was able to allow me to bless? But see, I was saying God allowed me to bless, but God ain't had nothing to do with it. Because I didn't consult him. And if I had consulted God, God would have said, no, you don't have to do that. And don't feel bad about it. And when you go on that route, you'll have more peace of mind. Now, y'all, I, I can sleep at night, okay? I can sleep at night. If somebody call and ask for something, I'll be like, God, is this what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to give them this? Is this, is this your will? And if God said yes, I'll be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. But if God give me that answer of no, mm-mm, 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 can't do it. Oh, man, you caught me. I have to say, man, you caught me at a bad time. No, I got something else planned. No, I can't do it. But what I can do, now I will do that if you're interested in that. If you're one of those yes people like I used to be, you can tell them no, but what if I do this instead? That's what I do now. If somebody asks for some money and so say, you know what? No, I can't do that. But what I can do, I could probably look up something for you to help you out. You need some money? What, what you trying to do? And if they tell me, I say, you know what? Let me see if I can try to put you in the right, point you in the right direction to where you won't need to do that or something. Instead of me, you know, doing that. Especially if God tells me, no, don't do it. Mm -mm. I'll be like, oh, oh, okay. And so you're still helping out, you know? And sometimes people do get upset. Sometimes people will. I'm, I'm telling you, you probably have already experienced. Sometimes people will just get upset because you said no. They'll thank you, thank you all day in the bag of chips. So you forgot where you came from. No, I have, I have not. I have not forgotten where I came from. I just don't want to go back there, okay? I don't want to go back. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to go. God has blessed and blessed and blessed and blessed. And I remember how it was. I remember how it was. And the way we got where we are now is because we listened to God. We listened to God. We listen to God. And so, you know, don't, don't let people make you feel bad when you say no. Just, just, just K-N-O-W. Just know that by you be obeying God, when God gives you instructions, whether you should do it or should not do it, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It really is. But if you don't want your actions to make you lie, make sure you consult God first. Be quick to hear and slow to speak. 
And I guarantee you, every time God gives you the answer, the words that come out of your mouth will be truth. It will follow through. I hope y'all got this. Oh, shucks, I'm almost at 10. I'm at 10 minutes now. I hope y'all got the same. But if you didn't get it, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mask a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.